welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be filming this video for you today. As you can tell, I am a little bit more glammed up uh, just because this isn't a activewear review for once. Um, I just wanted to do this to see how and whether you guys like this or not. If so, please feel free to give me a big thumbs up um, and maybe subscribe, comment. Let me know if you like this kind of video and maybe, maybe I could put some more of this kind of content onto my channel. If you haven't seen my face before, hi. I'm Fitness with Ellen, we do everything fitness, lifestyle, try-ons, workout videos, all that kind of jazz on here. If that's your kind of vibe, then please feel free to subscribe, like, comment, do whatever. I'd really appreciate it as it helps me to know that I'm putting out the right stuff for you guys. So, as you can tell in the video title, I'm really excited to be doing this because it is a little bit different and um, it's, yeah. Buying regular people clothes is so outside of my comfort zone, it's unreal just because I live about 90% of my life in, in active wear or like joggers and a baggy tee. So wearing things that is like slightly fitted and for like normal life is just a bit, it's just not me, it's just not who I am. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is gonna be interesting for both of us. I ordered off of Cider. Um, this is kind of a, a new-ish brand that I've been seeing on Instagram. I've seen loads of other people doing videos on it and I wanted to review it myself. Um, so please tag along and we can go through the bits that I've got. I'm going to try and put together some like outfits um, so you can actually see my style outside of the gym. How strange. So yeah, I've, I've only got a few bits uh, because I know you see like these massive hauls, but I didn't want to like over order um, just one in case it didn't fit and two, we are living in a very like consumption based kind of world at the moment. So I only really wanted to buy the bits that I find is necessary for me and kind of like what I want um, rather than just kind of over consuming and just buying bits that I'm just inevitably going to send back anyway. So yeah, um, I think it's probably time to get into the video. Okay, so the pieces I've got, um, three t-shirts and one pair of trousers. I tend not to buy, I don't know, I don't really like to buy trousers online because just being a gym gal. <laughs> um, my bum thighs and waist ratio are so off. So I feel like it's better to like go into store and actually try things on or like already have places where I kind of know that fits me. So definitely ordering off a site like this for the bottoms is something I don't normally do. So I've got one pair of trousers and then three tops. Um, that's four. So, <laughs> right. One minute. So the first top I've got here, they're really cute like little bags. It says brewing style on it. Um, yeah, and then it's got like little apples up here because cider is made from apples. I'm not sure what's that. Um, yeah, it's uh, like crossbody, crossbody. It's got like a twist here. Um, and I, I think it's really, really cute. Um, the sizing on cider is all over the place. I think this is in a large. I've got a top and a small, another in a large, and then the trousers are a medium. I normally small on top and a medium on the bottom. When you like hover over the little, I'll put like a screenshot in, you hover over the like small, medium, large, whatever, um, it like will give you certain like ratios. So I kind of did it off that. So hopefully everything will fit. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, so this is the first top. Okay, so this is the green top. Um, I love it to pieces. I've got like a decent bra on now and you can't really even see like the, you can, no. No, you can't even see like the detailing from it. So um, that's amazing. This is a large, okay? So bearing in mind like how it fits, it was a little bit tight, like getting it on. There's not like much stretch to this material. So I think that's why it's good to kind of size up. I paired it with just some blue jeans from Misguided and then, <laughs> and then just some heels from um, New Look. I am a gym girl, okay? And you guys, you guys have put me in heels. So um, I'm not gonna be the most fluid walking around in these. I'm just probably gonna stand still um, because I can't walk in heels. I've just done this kind of glam, the look up. These are actually quite tall for me. Um, but yeah, I really like the top. It's like good movement. It doesn't cut in at all. I always find that with some tops. I don't know whether anybody else does. Just like it cuts in on the arms and just isn't very flattering. So I think that this looks really, really nice on the arms. This is just it from the back, just kind of like a standard kind of top. It feels very, very summery. It's lovely. Um, look really nice with like some more jewellery on. Um, even for like a date night, you could completely like dress this down and just put some like trainers on. Be cute with like a little like white skirt or something. 
I'm not a skirt kind of person, so we're getting jeans in like 20 degree heat. So a lot of you people watching from like, <laughs> not the UK would be like, it's not even that hot. Don't understand UK heat, okay? You'll all be like, you don't understand like our heat over here. You don't understand UK heat, like it gets hot. Our houses are brick, okay? Built to like insulate, so when it gets hot, it's like an oven, okay? So just, it's warm. So yeah, I'm sorry if you do see me sweat a little bit. But yeah, really cute. I'm gonna keep this one. I really like it. I feel good. On to the next one. And then for the second, I kind of bought an outfit. So the trousers that I wanted, I kind of bought to go with a green top. I've got a party this weekend and I kind of felt like it would be quite nice just to wear something a little bit more tailored. So I've got this, I've got this green top. I just realized I didn't take the other one out of the package for you. <laughs> right, so this is the green top. Um, it's, yeah, so this is the one that's in a small because I think it's gonna be a little bit oversized. I don't really know, it like buttons up and it's really cute. So this is the top. I really, really like the green. I just feel like for summer, this green is everything. So yeah, this is the top. And then I've got the trousers, which are in this gorgeous kind of like cream color. Um, I don't know what size these are. I think they are a medium, but I'll let you know. Um, yeah, so they feel, they feel nice material. Like everything is nice material. Uh, they look like they'll fit. They're like wide enough. Um, so yeah, I think we'll, we'll go and put this on as an outfit. And then, um, yeah, I'll give you my review, obviously. <laughs> okay, so this is, <laughs> I know I said it was gonna be an outfit, but um, I just tried to put these on off camera. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, no, it's not gonna happen. They look like they'd fit. And then you realize there's zero stretch in these. Um, okay. Yeah, I just didn't want to get demonetized, but um, yeah, so this is, this is how far they go up. It's a good look, fashion. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be keeping the trousers. <laughs> yeah these are a medium i think probably a large would have worked but the only like size guide i was given for these was like waist so i was like oh a medium would be fine because i've got like way more and yeah hats off to them that is correct it will fit my waist quite nicely as you can see here if i can hold them um but the, like the length is perfect as well i just didn't account for me having a bigger bum that I thought I would do and not being able to fit. So these are gonna go back. I do feel like they would have been a bit see-through as well, um, just because of like the color of the material. I might be wrong, but let me put an outfit together with this top to actually show you its full potential and then we can talk about the top, okay? Then we can talk about the top. So this is the top on. I'm so, my room is so warm right now. So you're gonna have to apologize if there's just beads of sweat coming off of me. Um, I paired it with my Money Air Devoir trousers just because I feel like this look just makes any look look absolutely snatched. I then just popped my heels on uh, to just give a little bit of like something else. Uh, sit on the back. The only thing about this top, I like it, it's just these, I wish they were stitched. So it was like, it was giving this the entire time. So I feel like if you wear it, these bits are just gonna come out. And it's like, it's sewn at the top here, but then, um, it's not until like the bottom, so it's a bit weird. It definitely needs an iron. <laughs> really does need an iron. I like the length of it. It just kind of cuts underneath my bra, which I feel like, especially with these trousers, is like a nice end point. Um, yeah, it's a good top. I think it would be, do maybe like a jean look as well, like my blue jeans or black jeans would look quite nice. And even to like make it look more summery, could just like pop on a skirt or something or a pair of shorts, just kind of give that like I've arrived look. I do feel like they would have looked best with, excuse me, with those pleated trousers just because, oh my goodness, just because I kind of put the outfit together in my head. Um, but yeah, each their own. 
I think I'm going to keep this. I just think it looks cute and I've been wanting it for ages. I've seen it on the side of the website like so, so much. So to actually have it, may order like the uh, lighter colour as well, but I don't know how see through that would be because it's kind of like, um, is it, I don't want to say the wrong thing, like crepe, crepe material? Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so it is, yeah, it is thin, but it's not see-through. Um, which is good because then I guess it's more breathable and it obviously makes me look jacked as shit. So that's good. That's what we want at the top. Um, right, now on to the last one. <laughs> Let's hope this one is not as much of a disaster as the trousers. And then the last but not least is um, this kind of two-tone top. I just felt like I needed something a little bit different um, in my wardrobe. I do quite like to have this kind of like unique style pieces. So this, um, this would be it. Um, I don't even know how, to, how I'm gonna hold this up. I got this in a large and do you see what I mean against the other top, the um, kind of floral one? The, these are both larges on how different they look, but I guess we'll see how this looks kind of like on as well as here because this looks, it looks big. Uh, the material's really nice, although yeah, wow that is see-through so we'll see whether or not um I keep this it's all made it's all made well like don't get me wrong it's just the sizing is absolutely everywhere um yeah let's go pop this on too okay so this is the last top I've put my money out of my trousers on just because it kind of gives a little bit of like an edgy look um I really don't want to get demonetized this is just like a black bra but it is very very see-through so I would have to kind of think about what I'm gonna wear underneath it rather than just being able to pop it on um, yeah, I thought that when I originally got out of the packet that it was going to be too small. Do you see what I mean with the sizing? This is a large. Like, it's stretchy and it fits It fits fine. Um, I actually think I might keep this, to be fair. Um, why is there always such a ruckus going on outside when I'm trying to film? Today's not been the day. Um, I, think it, I think it actually looks really, really cute with this. You can, you can see my tattoo through it. So um, I'm not entirely sure whether or not to keep it based on how thin it is. It'd be good for summer, don't get me wrong, but I don't want everyone being like cute top and then just being able to see my like tattoo and my bra. So I think it would be very, very careful um, planning. And like the back where it sits, I'd have to think about like my bra strap because it's not, it's not gonna cover it up just because it obviously is like an asymmetrical. So I don't know whether like, I don't know what do you call them, like a strapless bra, well done Ellen, well done, uh, would go better with this. Um, I also don't know whether I got this on the right way. The neck seems really, really high and the back seems really low. <laughs> Let me just change it around and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so this way is making me question the top even more, just because I actually think it's a little bit big and it's not, it's not sitting quite right. <laughs> I don't really want to be flashing my bra to people. I know I can put on a different bra, but um, I just don't think it's that flattering. So I think I'm probably going to keep both the green tops. I send this and the trousers back just purely because of how they fit. Um, I mean, I like it. I like the cut. I think it's like quite original. I'm saying this and I'm not like the biggest fashion buff. I know people have been doing cutouts for ages, but I haven't really seen any other website do this but I only go on gym websites so that might that might be why um yeah I think it yeah I'm not that, uh, yeah not fussed about it it looked nice on the website but I think like they do get you a little bit because of all the tops and like just everything not really being on models so you don't know how this sits I feel like it would have like this is yeah it's big so yeah this is the way you're supposed to have it because it's like got lower, but yeah, I think this would have worked if I got a different colour and a different size. So maybe just an entirely different top. Yeah, right. Cool. Thanks, lads. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed doing something just a little bit different for you. Um, I really, I do like fashion, um, <laughs> funnily enough. And it's nice to kind of do stuff that's like outside of um, just, like fitness stuff um 
as much as I like trying that on, it's just nice to kind of put some normal people clothes on and feel like I'm a normal part of society <laughs> rather than just this gym girl. So um, yeah, if you like this kind of video, please feel free, as I said earlier, to give me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. I think my favourite outfit, well, my favourite item was the green top that was like this half shirt. Um, I just think that's such a unique piece and I can kind of like wear it with different things. They've got two other colours on the website. I think it was like the cream colour that the trousers were and then a brown. So um, yeah, I meant to say in the beginning, Cider really isn't that of an expensive company. So for the quality of what is given versus like what you get, I think it's completely fine. Um, yeah, I would definitely shop there again. I think this, the stuff you get is good. The shipping is probably like four to, I think it was four to six days, which isn't too, too bad. I think we're all just so used to things being like quick, quick, quick. So I didn't really mind waiting for this. Um, but yeah, so I would definitely order from Cider again. It's a big thumbs up from me. Just be careful of the sizing is all I'm gonna say. Quality's good, just like watch, <laughs> watch the sizings and make sure that you kind of like each individual piece you get. You get what you think would fit rather than like being like, oh, I'm a medium, so I'm just gonna get a medium. Um, so yeah, cause I, I personally wouldn't normally order a large if I wanted something to fit, just cause that's not my size. So yeah, just, yeah, just have a look at the website if you're gonna go on there, just precaution. Um, but yeah, so I've really enjoyed doing this video for you. I hope you guys have liked it too. Um, but yeah, I'd appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that jazz. Uh, follow my socials too. And I'll catch you guys at the next one. <laughs> Bye.